Hey, it's Andrew from TCG Expedition, and today we're gonna be opening some original Modern Masters. Now, recently I did open Modern Masters 2017, and it was okay. There's not really any crazy pulls in there unless you do hit that Tarmogorf and a bunch of fetch lands. But I decided, you know what, let's go big or go home. We got some original Modern Masters here to open. And so I got this off eBay at a decent price. And I'm not sure if it has been resealed or not, but I guess we'll find out as we open. It looks like everything's good here. I don't know why they would reseal it unless they were try harding. Um, but we're going to get on into it. All right, so let's get on into this. I'm going to cut it on open here. Seal has been officially cracked. We're going to see what we got today. All right, all the packs are jumbled, as always. Got that nice handout with that Dark Confidant on there. Some modern booster draft stuff. I'll read through that later. And all the packs are jumbled. This is fantastic. All right, we're gonna get right on into this. We'll start with this uh, the sword here and uh, crack it on open. Pack number one of 24 here. Have you guys ever opened any Modern Masters product before? I'm gonna go kind of throw, slow through this because right off the bat, we're already hitting a good common that's worth a little bit. So we are gonna set down some of these uh, more high dollar commons and uncommons that are in these packs. Um, but I'm gonna be taking my time just to just to make sure I don't skip anything crazy. And I might miss certain cards throughout here. I don't know every card in these sets that is a little bit older than I'm used to. But, um, so we're gonna get on into the uncommons here. So we got the anti. We got a Lightning Helix, there we go, another good, good uncommon. We got the Whisper, and our first rare is gonna be Gift Given. nice rare right there. And our first foil is gonna be Moth Dust Changeling, nice. All right, let's set all these guys down. And I am gonna keep kind of the piles like that today. Pack number two. So far, so good. Pretty cool cards. I'm really interested in getting into Modern, if you guys can't tell from the most recent videos I've been posting with Modern Master 2017 and stuff. I'm trying to build Burn, and then also I'm trying to build um, Eldrazi Tron out of this. So that's what I'm looking for. Power Ranger Swath, I haven't actually seen this one before. If an instant or sorcery would deal damage to a creature player, it deals that much uh, plus two to that creature player instead. Uh, at the beginning of each instep, discard your hand. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Interesting card. And then we got Fiery Fall as our foil. Nice. All right. I'll just set that there. Pretty dope. So far, no crazy hits. Lava Spikes is probably, and the Lightning Helix are probably the best cards we've hit so far. Uh, but yeah, this set has a lot of good, good chunk of commons that are good, and then uncommons that are very... Very high dollar, not what I'm used to seeing. This set obviously has a really, a really good amount of uh, reprints that are, that are very sought after. So, um, into the uncommons here, we got a Marsh Flitter, we got a Tide Hollow Sculler, very cool, a Partic Dragon, and we got Kataki Wars Wage. Let's see. At the all artifacts have at the beginning of your upkeep, sack this artifact unless you pay one. Huh. Pretty cool. And our foil is Sins Enlist. Put two, one, one. Awesome. Very cool. All right. Dark Confidant. I'm with you, man. You with me? You gonna give me, give me a copy of you? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I really like, I really like these packs. The whole gold thing is uh, pretty, pretty dope. These packs look really nice. All right. Reach through the mist. Let's see, did we get another? Nope, no more lava spikes in that pack. Sand Sower, Spell Snare, that's a good uncommon right there. Esperzoa, and we got a Aether Sworn Cannonist, nice rare. Okay, each player who has cast a non artifact spell this turn can't cast additional non artifact spells. Very cool. And our foil is Mog War Marshal, very cool. All right. 
So if you guys have opened products like this before, what was your favorite pull? Was it a foil Tarmogoyf? Have you gotten any cool fetches? Or have you just been buying them, opening them for fun, seeing if you get any crazy cards? Or what be it? Thirst for Knowledge, another good uncommon. Verdict, The Salvage, and we got our first Mythic, Sarkon Vol. Nice. Planeswalker. So his first ability here says creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain haste until the end of turn. His minus two, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature, gains haste. Uh, and then minus six is put five, four, four red dragon creature tokens with flying onto the battlefield. Pretty, pretty dope. And our foil is Mulder Vine Cloak. Very cool. Got that dredge mechanic going on. All right, set our mythics back there. First mythic of the box. Uh, in the 2017 box I opened, I ended up pulling three. I've seen a lot of people pull around like two to three mythics in these type of boxes, so I would guess that uh, we'll pull probably average of about two. So, first mythic, hopefully not the last. You know, got that marsh. Got whatever that says. That looks cool, though. Uh, we got the Meyer Retriever, and our rare on the end is going to be Demigod of Revenge. That's a lot for the casting cost there. Flying Haste, when you cast it, return all cards named Demigod of Revenge from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. And we got a foil Giant Dusk Wasp. So a flying, and you can suspend it. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope. We have not hit a foil rare either, just yet. Maybe we get a foil mythic in this box. Crank it up a notch. Get all the goods. All right, got that arcbound. We need arcbound ravager in this one. Thirst for knowledge, hitting all the good uncommons so far. Let's see. We got the verdict, another salvage, and we got cold eyed selkie. Island Walk, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw that many cards. That's pretty dope. And then, foil common again, Raven's Crime. Target player discards a card, and then you can retrace. Got that retrace on there. Oh, wow. so let's see. Let's get through the commons here. Street Wraith, there we go. And Smell Stare, all right. <laughs> Getting crazy value out of the, uh, the commons and uncommons out of this so far. Sudden Shock, also fairly good. Uh, we got that Grasp, and we got Grand Arbiter Augustine 4. This one I was looking at earlier looks pretty dope. So white spells you cast cost one less, blue spells cost one less, and then spells your opponent controls cost one more, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, so another foil common here. Don't even know if we've hit a foil uncommon yet. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a spore counter on it. Creatures you control have remove two spore counters from this creature. Uh, put a 1-1 one, one green sapper laying token onto the battlefield. Huh. Interesting. A lot of these advertisement cards in this, not many tokens. This is from 2013. This year they've released the 2017 Modern Masters and they're also coming out with Iconic Masters. So... I'm tempted to say Iconic Masters is going to have some pretty cool, uh, of course, reprints and like iconic, of course, things, but I'm not sure exactly what they're going for with it, and I think they're not even going to be uh, spoiling anything during the spoiler season that would typically happen. Rift Sweeper, uh, Rift, Tar Pitcher, oh nice. <laughs> and we got Extirpate, split second, choose target. Card in a graveyard, other than basic land cards, search its owner's graveyard or hand and library. Oh, wow. Uh, for all the cards of the same name, exile them in that player's... Wow. Okay. That's actually pretty dope. And we got a foil vivid meadow on the end. Very cool. There's a token. There's a dragon token to go with Sarkon. Need five of them. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I'm not sure how many packs we've done just this far. Uh, we got that. We got that changeling. Termorphic. All right, murderous red cat. We got reach of branches, executioner's capsule, and we have divinity of pride, flying life link. Uh, divinity of pride gets plus four, plus four as long as you have twenty four or more life. That's pretty dope. And our foil is hillcomber giant mountain walk. Huh. All right. 
Still haven't hit that many uh, foil uncommons and no foil rare just yet. So maybe we'll hit, well, maybe we'll hit a crazy one here towards the end. All right, commons. There's such cool commons in this set. Like, look at these. Like, such such cool ones, and a lot of value in them too for some reason. All right, flicker whisk, mass admirers, incremental growth. Not a bad uncommon right there. And we got countryside crusher. All right, so three 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 at the beginning of your upkeep. Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it in the graveyard and repeat the process. Whenever a land card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Very cool. And we got a foil tar pitcher. Nice. So Saga Goblin, and then he deals to, uh, to a creature or a player. That's pretty dope. All right, where's our big hits? Where are they, where are they at, though? Let's, let's pull that time real quick here at the end. Towards the end, anyway. Reached the Mist, very cool. Rift Bolt, there we go. Hitting the goods. Search for tomorrow. Man, so many good commons and uncommons out of this set. All right, Rift Sweeper. We got the Cloud Goat Ranger, Mall Drifter, uncommon. And we got a Dark, a Dark Guard, Valkyrie. <laughs> uh, so it's got Flying and Vigilance, and then when um, you can tap, and it says, when target creature other than this dies this turn, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Huh, very cool. And we have a Foil Spore Sower Thalid. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a, on each fungus you control, and remove it, very cool. All right. So far, yeah, we've hit we've hit a couple decent uh, uh, rares, a lot of actually good uncommons and commons, but nothing really that's blowing it out of the park just yet. Um, that's what I'm hoping for here. Something crazy to just knock our socks off. I mean, I'm not wearing socks, but if I did have them on, I'd hope they'd knock them off. Pros and grip, nice. And we got Angel's Grace with second, nice. You can't lose the game this turn, and your opponents can't win the game this turn. Until end of turn, damage that would reduce your life Total to less than one reduces it to one instead. Awesome card. And then we got a Foil Fairy Mechanist. Fairies are always dope. Especially when they bloop and they fly. Alright. Got that Changeling. Nice. Sylvan Bounty. There's the Paradise Mantle. Getting all, getting like at least one copy of all the good stuff. Another crossing group, I'll take it. Got a cloud state. And Life on the Loom, sweet. Nice rare hit right there. So this one's a two drop sorcery, and you got uh, return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand, and then you can dredge. So if you would draw a card instead, you may put exactly three cards from the top of your library into the graveyard. If you do return this card from your graveyard to your hand, otherwise you can draw a card. Awesome, awesome rare. And we got a foil riftwing cloud state skate. That is such a mouthful right there. All right, cool. Awesome fairy rogue. <laughs> it was a nice rare hit right there. I like that card, Life from the Loam. All right, dredge is always is always fun. Always fun to mess around with. All right, vivid marsh. We got the ignis. We got the Narcomoeba and Maloku, the Clouded Mirror. Okay, flying. Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Put a 1-1 one, one blue illusion creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Interesting. Not sure if that's like super playable or not, but it seems pretty cool. And then a foil Thundering Giant. Nice. Warm. Reach through the moves. Changing traumatic visions. I love the I love the fairies in this set too. It's a very popular uh, deck stuff to run with them. Fungus. I haven't seen a lot of fungus people running that stuff, but maybe it's popular. And we got Jor of the Gitu. Uh, not really the rare we're wanting, of course, but uh, it's decent. Oh, there's a foil traumatic visions. Well, that's cool. All right. Skip over that, no comment on Jorah. She just got reprinted in the uh, one of the dual decks, the Mind vs. Might. I like the artwork in that reprint a lot better than this one. Uh, it's got a lot more detail in my opinion. Let's see, Frog Might. Always love the frogs. Rift Bolt, can't go, can't go bad with the burn. Always appreciated. I'm looking for more Lava Spikes. I'm surprised we haven't pulled any more of those. 
Uh, let's see, Path to Exile, there we go. Finally hitting the Path to Exile. And we have Earwig Squad. What is he? What is this? What does this do? Prowl 2. Uh, cool. You can Prowl cost it for cheaper. That's pretty nice. So when it enters the battlefield of its Prowl cost, it's pretty sure target opponent's library for three cards and exile them. And then they shuffle. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Ooh, a foil incremental growth. Nice. All right, so we still have not hit a uh, foil rare yet for the box. So are we going to in this pack? Let's find out. Let's do it. Let's get on in. Got the Seekers. There's the Lava Spike. There he is. All right. Rift Elemental, Surge for tomorrow. So many good cards in this common slot. Oh my goodness. Sudden Shock. Another good Vivid Marsh. Thundercloud Shaman. And we got Maelstrom Pulse. Sweet. All right. This card's pretty dope. Destroy target non-land permanent and all their permanents with the same name as that permanent for a three drop sorcery speed. And then we got Logic Knot as our foil. What does Logic Knot do? Let's see. So you can delve and then you can counter it unless they've, oh whoa. That's pretty dope. That is actually really cool. <laughs> all right. See, the packs are all still screwed up in there. Like they just flop around in these boxes since they, uh, they're not like perfectly designed for these packs in my opinion, but they're not bad. Grape shot, nice. Another another uh fairy, desperate ritual. Oh my goodness, we are just getting all the goods today. Let's see, take possession. I cannot pronounce that. Blood moon, oh my goodness, hitting the goods. Here's a good rare right here. We got foil absorb this. If you don't know what blood moon does, non-basic lands or mountains. So pretty, pretty good. Pretty good red card right there. All right, so I, as I've been mentioning, no foil rare still, and we've only hit one mythic out of the box. I hope we don't end with no foil rare and just one mythic. That's gonna be a little, a little sad. There's another street wraith. There we go. Vivid Grove. I think we've got like all the vivid, uh, all the all the uncommon lands. Oh my goodness. There we go. I was going to say, we haven't even got the kitchen finks yet. We got the, the $10 uncommon. There we go. Incremental growth. Okay. Let's just take a moment to look at all these. And then we have Woodfall Primus as our rare. So he's an eight for a six, six. You got uh, trample when it enters the battlefield, destroy target, non-creature permanent, and then persist. So if it dies, it'll come back uh, with a minus one, minus one counter on it. So pretty solid. And then a foil search for tomorrow. Nice. I'm digging that. Definitely. Definitely digging that. Alright guys, after this we got three packs left. Do you think we're gonna hit our foil rare in one of these? Do you think we're gonna get another mythic? Because I'm hoping we do. I know that this box isn't really known for its mythics. It's more about, of course, like Tarmogoyf, but it's a lot about the the rares in the uh, in this set. Of course, also there's the notable uncommons and commons that I keep pulling. So let's see, Sudden Shock, we got Mind Funeral, nice, and Stir the Pride, and our rare for the pack is Figure of Destiny. So uh, you can play him for one, then you can upgrade him, upgrade him, and upgrade him. So pretty cool. And then we got Nantuko Shaman as our foil for the pack. Still one Mythic, and still no foil rare. What is, what is it going to be, guys? What do you think it's going to be? Let's get on in. This is third to last pack, guys. What's it gonna be? All right. Etched Oracle. We got the Ignis. We got the Narcomoeba. And we have Greater Gargadon. Suspend 10 for one. Okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> sacrifice an artifact, creature, or land. Remove a time counter from this. Activate this only if it is suspended. Very cool. And we have Foil Veteran Armor. Okay. Interesting pack. Nothing crazy. I mean, the Narcan movie is always good. So, here we go. Second to last pack. What are we hitting? I'm getting a little, getting a little shaky over here. Where's, where's our foil rare for the box? Rift Bolt. Let's see. Let's see. Got the Vivid Grove. Eternal Witness. Nice. Tar Pitcher. And we got our second mythic. Okay. Jugen the Rising Star. Flying. When he dies, you may distribute five plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures. Very cool. And our foil is Siphon Life. Target player loses two life and you gain two life. All right. Not too shabby. 
Last pack. This has got to be the foil rare, or else something something is up with this box. There is there is something fishy because normally you get a foil rare. I'm surprised if I'm not going to get a foil rare of this. Uh, I keep mentioning it because normally I mean like I'm, I'm used to hitting it fairly in the middle, or but we don't know. All right, let's see. Take possession. Manamorphos. Trigon Predator. And we got Rude Awakening. Choose one. Untap all lands you control or until end of turn. Lands you control become 2-2 two, two creatures that are still land. And our foil is... There we go. I was going to say, man. <laughs> I was going to say, where is it at? Summoner's Pact Foil. Nice. That is dope. Search your library for a green creature card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. At the beginning of your next upkeep, pay two and a green and a green. If you don't, you lose the game. Very cool. Very cool foil. All right, guys, that is the box. We didn't hit anything like super crazy. I mean, the, the foil summoners pack is dope. Uh, mythic wise, uh, meh, and Sarkon is pretty dope though. Rare wise, let's see. Let's see what we got here. So we got Woodfall Primus, we got the Blood Moon, we got the Maelstrom Pulse, we got the Light from the Loam, Angel's Grace, we got, I want to say that's it. The rest of these are kind of just like, you know, mid-range, they're all good, of course, and usable. And then, Lava Spikes, some of my faves right here. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, that's Modern Masters, I might do one of these again in the future, but it'll probably be a little bit, just because these are not super cheap. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you did leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel Stay tuned for more content soon, and we appreciate it. Thanks. See you guys later